It's Monday, it's Monday, it's Monday. It's Monday's with Mark. Hi, everybody. I am Mark, and this is Mondays with Mark on your favorite YouTube channel, Smokey Steve and Mark, right? Right? Ah, well, we have a very fun episode for you tonight. Um, this is what week four in our six week countdown with crafting ideas for Halloween. But before we get into that, you know, I like to talk a little bit. So how are you doing? I have to say it is super nice to see you. Now, I know I sound like a broken record saying that because I probably say it every video I'm in, but it's the truth. I had mm, admittedly a rough morning. We had yet another drastic change in weather here. When I woke up this morning, I couldn't tell if it was daytime or nighttime. It was so dark out and it's wet and rainy and cold and it's just been so gray and dark all day long. Nonetheless, I woke up and could barely move and I felt like I was like a like a sausage in a casing. I felt so bloated and I, and, and, and stiff and uh, ugh, uh, it was horrible. But you know what? As the day went on, it subsided and my mood lifted and I'm super happy to be here with y'all. I really am. And I hope you're happy too. Um, it is Mondays with Mark and I do like to keep... Um, uh, I, what, the theme of Mondays with Mark, a little more interactive and fun with crafting ideas and like we do recipes and trips to the garden and all that kind of stuff. And tonight's video is no different. We're going to be making a Halloween wall hanging. It's going to be wall art for Halloween. Of course, it's going to be a craft a crafting thing and it's upcycled and it's a lot of fun. Um, but before we get into that, um, just to revisit, um, my vlog is going very well. I'll let you know how that's going. Um, if you are following my vlog, it's uh, a journey of self-discovery and improvement. Last week's topic was self-worth and um, a pretty 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 big topic there you know and uh, uh, we ended it as always with a challenge and the challenge was to quiet that inner negative voice uh, you know the voice that keeps in your ears and essentially chipping away at your self-worth telling you you're not worthy telling you you're not good enough you didn't do enough blah 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 and the challenge was when those thoughts happen to stop acknowledge it and then ask yourself, is this thought, is this message, is this based in reality at all? 90% of the time it's not, but mm, occasionally it is. You know, maybe I didn't handle a situation the right way earlier in the day and that inner voice is just nagging, nagging, nagging. That's actually a positive thing because I can learn from it and perhaps not make the same mistake next time, right? But I'm talking about those negative voices that just ruminate and constantly knock you down um, and, and, and interrupt your life in a way and chip away at your self-worth. So I ask myself, is this based in reality? 90% of the time, no, it's not. Then wash your hands of it. And in order to do that, replace that negative thought with a positive thought or go do something that you enjoy doing. Just something to just replace the negative with the positive. And I was um, very hopeful that the more we do it, the more automatic it would become. And I was really tested this week, I have to say. Um, it, it took a minute to get that, you know, instant uh, kind of, okay, okay, I got to do this. You know, that's that inner voice, you know. But you know what? It did become habit and it did help a lot. It really did. Um, I, I, practiced it all week. Um, I'm trying to think of an actual example that 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 happened that I can share with you. Um, and if you guys are following along and if you tried the challenge, I'd really like to know if it worked for you or not, because in the next vlog, we're going to revisit it and see if it worked or not. And then we're going to move on to something else. But, um, you know, I was having, I remember I was having a bad day at work and I, I came up with a dish or whatever and, it, you know, and, and I liked it and I thought it was a good dish and everything. And, and we ran it as a special. And, um, but the voice in my head kept saying, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. It, that sucks. You call yourself a chef. Da, 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 da. That's not good. That's not good. And then I started like, you know, uh, kind of, you know, adding to that. Well, I mean, the boss didn't come up to you and say, that's a fantastic dish. Um, 
I didn't get any feedback from any customers yet. It is. It's terrible. Who do you think you are? Blah, blah, blah. Oh. And then I realized, oh, man, that's that negative voice going on. So I stopped. I asked myself, is this based in reality? It really was not, you know. So I tried to replace it, okay. So I immediately thought of something else that I like to do. And that was believe it or not, was decorating for Halloween. I do get a lot of joy from doing things like that, like decorating and gardening and crafting and things like that. I consider that a positive thing in my life. So I went right away and I started planning the Halloween display at the restaurant, which I'm going to be doing this week coming up. And sure enough, my mind got off of that negative thought and onto something positive. And as the night went on, don't you know, a guest sent a compliment back and said they liked the dish. At the end of the night, my boss came up to me and said, hey, man, that was a really good special we ran. You know, I, I, I you know, I don't know. I, I could have, I could have probably avoided a lot of negative thought if I would have just done that immediately when that thought came up. But it's a journey. And uh, that actually ultimately was a very positive thing because I learned something from it. And now this is becoming habit. I hope it is for you, too. Um, we had some exciting news last week. We picked the date for our Halloween special, October 20th, Spooky Steve and Mark, the Halloween special. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Mark it down, be there, because you're not going to want to miss it. And we're going to have a contest with it, a, a, a lot like we did with the Golden Girls and any other specials we do. This contest is a photo contest, and all we're asking you to do is to send in a picture of you in a Halloween costume or any type of Halloween picture that you might have of your pets or your decorations or whatever. Send it to us in our uh, at our email address, smokystevenmark at yahoo.com, or send it to us through Facebook, whatever you want. It is a photo contest, and all those photos will be entered in, and we're going to do a randomizer, and uh, the winner, the grand prize winner, will receive a $50 prepaid Visa card. All digital, we don't have to mail it to you, you get it that day, and we're going to draw the winner live in our Halloween special on the 20th, so you got two weeks to get your pictures in, so I'm looking forward to it. We got a couple in already, I just love stuff like that, and don't worry, I'll never post your pictures without asking for your permission first. I won't just, you know, put it on Facebook or anything like that. I'll ask you first, okay? So get those pictures in, it's a really good prize. I think we may even have a second and third prize winner, too. But more will be revealed with that. So anyway, I think um, I, well, I just there's some points I wanted to make here. Did I do it last week? Halloween contest? Da, da, da. Yes, I got it all down. So anyway, why don't I stop blabbing, okay, and get on to tonight's project, okay? Um, I like thank you so much for all the comments saying how much you like having uh like a craft a diy uh segment in smoky steve and mark it really makes me feel good because you know i always doubt myself and i'm wondering if anyone even likes these things you know so i'm really glad that you told me that you do like them so it uh, kind of prompts me to do more because i do enjoy doing them um and so let's see last week if you remember we made um we made outdoor ghost luminaries out of soda bottles <laughs> They were pretty fun, huh? Mm, little special effects there, huh? I mean, sort of a little slideshow, kind of cool, huh? Now, I'm really trying to um, uh, learn more about editing and stuff like that to make our videos a little bit better, including the crafting videos, too. I'm trying to um, uh, learn how to make them a little bit um, more interactive and, and, and easier to follow. So, but that, again, is an ongoing process. But today, our project, we're going to be making uh, rustic Halloween wall hangings. And I have a couple of them finished already, which I'll show you in a minute. But, um, well, let's just get right to it. For this project, you're going to need a branch of any kind, uh, any kind of branch will work. Oh, that's hysterical. Um, uh, like this. And I just found these outside. And let's see. We'll use... Why don't we use this one? We'll use this one. So a branch about... I'm going to say about maybe a foot, foot and a half long. You're going to need a printable. 
And a printable is just something that you can print from your computer, Halloween. Um, and uh, as always, what I'll do is I will post on Facebook tomorrow this project, and I'll also include a bunch of printables that you can download and print for free yourself, okay? Um, for this one, I think we'll do Double Double Toil and Trouble. All right, you also need some jute twine like that, and um, any any size is good. Um, they have this real thin stuff at the dollar store for a buck if you want to get that there. Um, you'll also need some transparent tape, and uh, not the magic tape. You want the permanent transparent tape, okay? And you will need some spray acrylic, and that's optional if uh, you want to use that or not. It'll make sense in a little bit. A damp towel, and a lighter. Okay, so what we're if you don't know what I'm doing, what we're doing is essentially we're going to be making a wall hanging like this. So let's get to it. First thing you're going to want to do is get your branch and cut it to the uh, length that you want according to your printout. Like this is about an eight by ten, so I think that's a nice size there as far as the branch goes. So I cleaned it all off and then I took it outside and I gave it a quick spray with the clear glaze, clear acrylic glaze. You can get glaze. You can get this at Walmart for three bucks if you want. Again, it's optional. You don't have to do that. Or if you have some tacky glue or Elmer's glue, you can just glue the whole thing and let it dry. It creates a nice little shine on it. That's all. All right, so that's that. Now we're gonna take our printable, print it out and trim it to the size that you want. And now for a really cool, almost, you know, spooky look to it, I burnt the edges of it. As you can see, I did three sides and I'll show you how I did that. This is where the damp towel comes into play. Now, you know, if you're gonna do this with kids or stuff, definitely supervise them because, you know, open flame and children, mm. I mean, you know, open flame in myself is scary enough, you know, not to think about having children around. But anyway, so all I did was I held it. I have my wet towel here and I just lit the ends, blew it, and then tap it off. It's not, it doesn't hurt at all. And I did that all around all four edges of it just to give it that rustic, almost, I don't know, almost spooky kind of look to it. So, fire, fire, here we go, safety, and so then you have it, and it, kind of, and it looks like that, I think it looks pretty cool, alright, now we're going to set that aside, take your branch, and take your jute twine, like this, and we're going to cut two pieces, about, eh, about a foot, it doesn't matter, we can trim it, you know, so I'm just going to say about 12 inches or so long, but we, we can trim it uh, later. You want two pieces that size. And what we're gonna do is we're going to make tassels. So you're gonna, on either end of your branch, we're going to tie a double knot, okay? And uh, like I said, I have mine finished already. I'm making this one as a gift, as always. Every time I make something, I, you know, give them away. I don't know if people like them or if they don't like them, but they get them. <laughs> Actually, this I'm making for Steve's mom. She's like my, um, I don't know, my craft tester. I made this just for you. Do you like it? Should I put it on the channel? Da, da, da. <laughs> anyway, so we have two like this. I call these the tassels. So we're going to, that's what you have just like that. Okay. And it was a double knot. Make sure they're really tight. And then we're going to take the ends and fray them. Jute twine is made up of a bunch of smaller twines, so you can separate them just like that. So it's like a tassel. Okay. Next, you're going to take the twine again and double the size of it. Do about two feet or so. Again, we can trim it later. You can always have too much, but you could if you have too little, then you got to start all over again. Now this is going to be the hanger of it. So we're gonna do a double knot again on both sides, but this time we're going to leave enough uh, to make a hanger of it. And I'm trying to do this real quick. The finished product, I think all this will make sense more. But, so, did I cover everything with that? Yeah, I did. But yeah, as I said, I, I've been, uh, I downloaded an editor and I'm trying to learn how to, particularly the crafting videos, um, make them a little bit, um, easier to follow. Um, 
you know, I'm learning how to like zoom and insert pictures and things like that. It's a lot of fun, but boy, there's a lot of information out there and it can take <laughs> so much time to learn everything. So, all right. Anyway, this step is this. So I just tied it on both ends with enough. This is where we're going to hang it. Okay. So now to that, instead of fraying the ends like we did before, we're going to make a third knot in it. like that. So you'll have three knots on the top ones, not on the top tassels, but on the hanger. Okay. So we did three knots on both sides. All right. So now, now we have our, it's all assembled and ready to go. Um, trim off the excess string on the hanger part on the top. So we don't have any hanging on top. We want it to hang on the bottom, but we don't on the top. There we go. So now it's nice and like that. And our bottom is all frayed and our top is all even like that. Now we're going to attach our printable to this. The easiest way I found to do that was with tape. I, I tried all different ways, you know, to make it, um, to make it nice and to make it easy. I tried threading the, the twine all the way through it. I tried braiding it. I tried gluing it right to the, this is the easiest way to do it, and and it looks really, really great. So what we're going to do, take your printable, get a piece of tape, and on the bottom where your tassels are hanging down, we're going to take, and this is the front, I'm showing you the front of what will be the front. Take one of the frayed tassels and hold it out, and the rest of the tassels are in front. Take the back of your printable and we're going to tape it all the way up to where your knot is and you're going to take the one tassel tape the one tassel to the back of your printable this is what i'm talking about about getting better at this like i'd like to be able to show you this you know but I have to do it and then show you. So you have it like, if you can see it. So you have it like that. One of the tassels is taped and it's all the way up to the knot. And you're gonna do that on both sides. The rest of the tassels, I don't wanna drop it. The rest of the tassels are gonna be hanging in front. Are gonna be hanging in front. So as you can see, we're gonna do that to both sides. And then you can arrange and center it simply by sliding the ropes down and we'll have it centered in there like that. And let me tape the other side real quick for you. It's probably going to look terrible because I'm trying to do it so fast, but oh, negative, negative, negative. Think of something positive. It looks fabulous. I love doing this. Okay. That one. And essentially, when it's all finished, it's going to be hanging just like that. So, my handy little um, 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 assistant, are you there? I'm here. Would you like to show them the finished product? Sure. That'd be great. Dun, 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 dun. Double, double toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. As you can see, I took the printable that I used as a demonstration. I cut it in half. And I made two of them. Ooh, isn't that exciting? Very cool. Cool. And back to you. And we're back. <laughs> anyway, so that's just a really quick, simple, little Halloween wall hanging um, project for you. And you know what? You can make, you can personalize it any way you want. You can fray your edges more. You can hang some Halloween charms on there. Maybe add some moss to the branch. I personally like at the top where I hang hang them, I usually put like a pumpkin or a charm right on the wall there. So 
whatever you want. You can personalize it to whatever way you like. Now, like I said, I will post this on Facebook tomorrow, and I'll, I'll, I'll also include a whole bunch of printables that you could print out and make this yourself. And as always, if you make any crafting thing that we do here on Smokey's Even Mark, definitely send the picture in to us so we can put it on Facebook. I love to see if anyone else does, like, some of the things that we do here anyway. Well, I think I've talked your ear off. Um... I really had a fun time doing this today and, and spending time with you tonight. I hope you did too, and I hope you enjoyed this project. So thank you so much for watching. Remember, get your postcards in for our viewer challenge. Got a few more weeks left, and then they come down, and then I make the backdrop out of them. And all that is is send us a postcard from your town, your state, your country, and we'll get it up on our backdrop, you know? I think we have 34 states in the U.S. so far, so we have a few more to go to get all 50. Uh, please follow us on Facebook. Uh, send us a friend request at Smokey Steve Space and Mark. We're also on Instagram, Smokey Steve and Mark. Please like, subscribe, and comment as always. And once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for spending time with me. And stay positive, everybody. I'll see you next time.